in high elo. We're up against a Mumu, and his name is You Get No Hose. Well, that's a good way to start it. Um, all right, we're playing Blue Cane into Victor, MF, Lulu. So we're definitely gonna need Serpents. They have shields, shields, and shields. Getting more used to playing Blue Cane again because Red Cane is getting nerfed. And it always has been more blue cane than red cane as the ages have gone. Sometimes there's red metas, which we've all witnessed how broken red cane was. But now that he's getting nerfed, it's time to start moving on to the blue cane again, boys. And how to 1v9 with blue cane. You gotta be very selfish. And uh, you gotta be thinking only for yourself. And if you want to help yourself get in that mindset, getting all will help you out a lot. Because uh, sometimes your team will try and tell you and ping you and bug you to do things that you don't want to do. And that's usually how you start falling behind. Looks like enemy junk starting red. It's the Mumu, so it's going to be a little bit of an interesting matchup. Mumu is not really bad to play versus, but he is scary in team fights. Thankfully, my champion's not designed to team fight, so as long as I don't team fight, I should be good. I never really plan on uh, grouping, never plan to do anything like that. Shen gave me a massive leash here. That's huge. Shout out my boy Shen. All right, here, I'll tell you guys how to do the Raptors to blue finish with this clear. You take an auto, you take a step back, you queue in, you auto three times. Just step in this bush all the way over here. You ping out a Mumu because we see him on the vision. Then you queue them all, and then you ping over here. You look mid, you look bot. And then you look mid, then you look bot. Top if you want to have fun. You don't really need to look top because I'm not pathing towards top. All right. Now you auto this one, two, three. So you smite, auto Q, and then auto three times after your Q. And then you auto this three times. Take a little step to the right, back. All right out the Amumu because we know he's top side because he started bot now he's path on top all right you get these two boys stacked together you kite him out a little bit keep taking steps to the left boom and they're both right there stacked just queue in the wall auto the grompus down hit him low and 305 full clear with smite up perfect I'm gonna ping out a Mumu again probably gonna be clearing that a lot faster than him Bot lane's looking a little bit low, can look to force. Especially if it is that big of a wave, if we can force a dive or something like that, would be absolutely tremendous. I noticed Caitlyn and Nami are just playing super up right now. Super aggro. And I make them flash into the Tristana. It's time to kill them. All right, now I'm gonna set up some more vision, then I'll reset. All right, I'll reset. Uh, ping out a Mumu again, should be around top side. Start. I actually got pretty lucky there that uh, Tristana was in the position to rotate there. That actually worked out really well. I don't like to normally get my, uh, what do I call it? Tier first reset, I get it. By the way, this was my second reset. Would, I'll get tier later on, but right now I got the Dirk, got the control ward. Thanks so much for that sub. Thank you, Magnet, for the 14 months. Welcome back. All right. Use my Q to get the lane a little bit faster here. Mumu's top, 29 CS. Yeah, he's overstaying a little bit, so maybe we can look to fight him or something. He might actually try and recall in that bush. Let's see. If he does, I'll look to kill him. By the way, this was Karis Mai, who would unironically win this game. All right, nice. Oh, does Shen not have his W? Aw, oh, darn. I was hoping he had his W there and he could save me. Yo, Pyre, thanks for the three months. Welcome back. Kill the Amumu, though. That's not bad. Okay, now I'll get the tier. I had to use my Futures Market twice, but don't worry. It's all good. I'll just farm my camps. Yeah, that was a pretty good opportunity to punish the Amumu. Sadly, I did die, but I think that was pretty worth it. I got a lot of orbs, and I get a little bit of an advantage. Shen, hopefully he gets a kill on middle here because she is stepping up and being very over aggressive she's like right there nice all right i'll just ho hovering over just in case but yeah he also gets the kill on the camille because she invested too much into that nice little punish we see him on the rugs and now i'll put a control ward right here this is a really good control ward spot so that's why i love getting that early control ward You're right there oh. Now I'll go farm my top to bot side. You always want to farm opposite side of where you're going to wind up. So let's say I want to gank bot, then I want to clear my top side first, and then kind of linger around my bot side. Because right now, let's say bot lane was shoved in, I can gank them right now. And then my bot side camps aren't in risk of being invaded, because I'm around the bot side, so I can defend them personally. 
But let's say, you know, I don't clear my top side and I force a bot lane play, then easily I can get invaded. Because usually when you're forcing a play, you're going to be around for a couple minutes, right? You're going to be hanging around, lingering around. You'll notice that Mumu's in his top side. So he's going to be kind of lingering around in the top area. Victor's rotating down, so it's a bit of a 3v3 angle in the bot lane, but he has ult advantage. So obviously something I don't want to fight. Skittle right now. Skittle RNG was on my on my side. The side that he pathed to did not have the Skittle. Meanwhile, mine did. Mumu had to reroute his pathing, so now he's even slowed down because he had to uh, completely swap to where, which side he wanted to path to. You big? Okay. Have the level six advantage. Oh my god, I don't have level six. What? I, I thought I was gonna have level six advantage there. Oh, I'm so sad. Oh, nice. Getting so many red orbs, but it's all good. I can tell Victor's gonna come down right now based on how Lulu's playing. What? Yeah, there's Victor. Well, Shen's down here. We should just get the dragon. Perfect. Gamon. Catlin. Catalin. Someone. Anyone. Anyone. This is extremely risky. We would have been done with it already. Oh, this is bad. Thank goodness she didn't walk to me. Thank goodness. That would have been really bad. Oh, nice. Oh, you're so loomy. Yeah, I told you. Good luck charm. To be honest, most times you watch, I swear, I'm usually winning, right? Just that one time I got into it, but, you know, that's... Oh, happens to the best of us. It looks like uh, Nami's gonna die there, do a Mumu. A little big cut out. I have so many red orbs. Very little blue orbs. Kind of stinks. I'm probably gonna wind up getting the wrong form, but it's fine. I'll wait it out. Sometimes it's worth to wait it out, sometimes it's not. I technically could go red, but I definitely feel like blue might be the vibe. Dude, let me think. Into their team? If I go Merc Treads, I guess I could go red. It'd be that bad. I lose both my uh, topside camps there. But Mumu's sticking around over there so long, so I might just go for the Rift right now. No, might be taking the plant right now, so she could also beat me up. A little bit dangerous. Cause I know that Camille likes to move around and. I'm in a bit of a vulnerable spot here. Mid has shove. He can also rotate freely, but see how it's 3v2 bot side. So we have three top. We should be able to get the top side objective. That's just numbers logic. Gen ult is in like 10 seconds. So I think I could solo out long enough to get his ulti. Because I would just wait on my E and then maybe get like a QR. And then after that, we can get... Mumu's been bot side for so long, so yeah, I just kind of assumed that his top side's gonna be up. He's running directly to it though, so. I think I'll just concede it. I already got the rift, and I can go get my bot side. I'm gonna build a massive advantage for myself here, which is good. Gonna have to go to into debt, and don't worry, going to debt ain't too bad. I've done it a couple times this game. I only really go into debt whenever I feel like it's worth it, so. But being able to buy Prowlers early on, worth it. Being able to buy Dirk early on, worth it. Sometimes getting a control ward. Can be worth it, you know. If, you're not, if you don't have any control ward, I think it can be, to be honest. You have a good control ward as well. So notice I got both objectives on an early game. Well, I wouldn't really say Mumu's too early game, but he's much stronger in fighting, and he's uh, definitely a very scary champ for me to face off. But just being able to avoid him and get things freely. It's a ballast coin. How's it going? 
All right. And as you can see, the three main things I always talk about if you want to win the jungle. Having more KP, which I have four, he has uh, three. Having more CS, which I have 84, he has 70. And then having more objectives, which I have two and he has zero. Oh, Quinn, thank Ironically you so much for the gift sub. 129th gift sub. Oh my goodness, thank you so much, Quinn. Uh, I could maybe have looked to go on the victor there, but I think it's just smarter for me to not do that, to be honest. Nice. Are oh, they Momo? Let me get my form. Yep, got my form. Perfect. So now, I have form. I just have to wait four minutes. Gonna be a bit of a delayed form, but let me tell you something. Have you ever had of enemy jungle jungler and your first form cane? You're pretty much set to win the game. And that's how good this champion is. And people don't realize when you get your form, that's when you really have to be playing super smart, super well. And you really have to understand how your champ war works. But if you do, that's when you can 100% just win the game with ease. Oh, I should have I should have held my ult a little bit longer. I agree with that. I forget her uh, CD on that is pretty low. I don't want to overstay here and die. Gotta watch out. See who's here. Could have killed her there. My bad. Her ECD is quite low. Thought I'd be able to get my W off on her before. We don't want to get the tower. Yeah, I'll get it. I'm gonna send the rift right now, so rift will tank a little bit. Just both auto it. Usually, you want to summon the rift when it's about mm, two and a half plates, right there, and boom. And now we could just kind of get low enough. Not quite yet, but almost there. Now we just don't want to overstay and die, so we're just gonna back up. Not gonna be a dragon immediately, but because we just have so much strength and bot mid here, it's looking pretty good. Looking pretty good, boys. Now we just try and get a little dragon set up. Lulu's moving bot with a Moo Moo, presumably. I have Shen ulti, to be a little bit clearer. Okay. Make sure there's no vision on that. Your dies, nice. Nice. Able to just solo kill her. Hunt her down, and as you can see, that lowers my form by a lot. Whenever you get the wrong form, you can actually still lower your form timer. That's why sometimes it's not too bad to do that. And uh, I was able to do it there by just buying the Lulu. And I lowered it by about uh, 40 seconds. Every hit equals five orbs off. So, or not, I said that backwards. Every orb equals about five seconds off. So, that's pretty good. And every orb is just hit them, so. Get the Krugs. Reset. I know I'm not doing the dragon right now. It's just because I don't have ult. It's kind of an overstay, so. Okay, I want it. Oh, uh, they might. I can contest this. Okay. okay, so right now, I mentioned it earlier, a lot of their team is just having shields. So your second item is usually your utility item. If they have like a lot of CC, they can just kind of one-shot me. I would go Edge of Night, and if they have a lot of shields, I'd go Serpents. And if they don't have either, well then I go Yumus, and I play very, very aggressive. That's actually my favorite playstyle and build. A very aggressive one. Okay, so now, we are formed up. Now it's all about just making picks in the solo lanes. Consistently looking for those lovely picks. Right there, we should be able to kill the victor. 100% here. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I just wait till his CC, because I know Shen can tank him for however long. 
But me, I don't have my ult up, so I don't want to risk it by just, like, brute forcing on him. There's really no point to ever overforce in those situations. If it's a free kill, giving them any chance of killing you is just really stupid. So being able to just use my Prowlers there, get the kill, get out, pretty good. Take a little bit of extra time, but hey, you know what? We still got the kill, we got the objective. We might lose the Rift right now, which is a little bit bad, but we'll see. Hopefully not, but we'll see. I know most people would go farm their own bot side, but I'm actually going to farm his bot side because I want to punish him. And then I'll look. Go move over to the top side because that's where the objective is. That's where the contest would be. I always want to kind of path towards where the contest would be. I don't see Camille. I don't see a Mumu. So I'm a little bit worried here walking in this general area. A bit of vision. Now we see a Mumu. We see Camille. Okay, we're getting caught out for the yard. Damn. Very much of an overstay. Alright, Stana is kind of overstaying here as well. Team is tilting, which is why I did insist on muting all. <laughs> you really have to just play for picks in sideline. I want to go for an aggressive play and try and steal the rift. Because I have such high mobility. Nice. Quick little easy steal. I can probably go secure the bear myself if I wanna. Or not the bear in the rift. I actually saved my flash here too, because I noticed that they couldn't really stop me there. Able to get the rift and get out. Nice, perfect. Alright, so now we get the serpents. And start working on that Mata Moon. Get a little control word. I'm gonna put my bot side here. So notice I am very farm heavy, but I don't always prioritize my farm. With my advantages when I'm ahead, I do like to always prioritize looking for picks and getting the objectives. So notice how I've secured every single objective this game, and I still have a much higher CS lead on the enemy jung. Smite that. I want to make sure you're getting in the habit of farming as fast as you can, because the faster you're farming, the more plays you'll be able to make. All right, now we just hard shove bot. I put a control deep with the enemy gun here. Look for the red and maybe see what else we can get. Nice. Kill there, that's good. If Victor goes bot, we just kill him and get two towers here. We could open up the inhib. Great. All right, just shows, so I'm just going to go on him immediately. All right, nice. All right, now we'll send the rift down. Open bot. Nice. Now we open this. So when Baron spawns, we're gonna have a lot of pressure on the map applied because we got the early inhib. Sometimes early inhib isn't worth, but it definitely can be if done properly. Because now we could just pressure the Baron. And I'll show you how to get the Baron as well. Because Baron's all about just being able to control the area. You don't actually need to do the Baron to make a good Baron play. I know it sounds kind of silly, but just trust me when I say that. Alright, so now I can get Mana Man. Let's full clear it. So notice I'm making sure to reset on proper items. So I'm getting Mana Man and getting uh, Serpents. And this is where Futures Market really comes in handy when you're able to do that. I don't use it for like every item, like, oh, buy a long sword, futures market, buy a, buy an extra this, buy an extra that. Nah, it's, it's very, clearly. Hey, okay, Caitlyn wants to just take camps. By the way, if this was Karismai, we would unironically win this game. Pathing towards the Mumu. They use TP from there, they're grouping. We can just shove out mid and wait for the Baron, the bot side pressure. Go for it, thanks for the pump. That's the whole point of the bot in Hib was to uh have that pressure. Okay, so you can see the team is fighting, one died, one got picked. And now this is where you would want to use your flash as well. So I was able to kill one shot her, and then one shot the other one. 
Okay, so notice I use my full combo with Prowlers on one of them, and then I save my ult for the other one. And I just hold my, uh, hold inside. I wait inside of MF, and then I just use my next combo. So it's very particular. And I want to make sure that top is shoving, because we're getting mid and hib here for sure. Might not be able to end. Sometimes you can, but it's 100% guaranteeing that we can get everything we want and more here, so. Applying this pressure on this top tower. The ace. Oh, now we can just end. A little bit risky because they got a lot of big ults. We're gonna be using. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna back up. Get the top tower, like I mentioned. All right, now I'll get the blue buff. No point in me dying there. Give up a 1k shutdown for agreed play. We just be Pega. Nice snipe. I might try and overstay, over push, get this wave here. That's right. Nice. GG. Well, hope you boys learned a thing or two. GG.